except the 210 and the 410, we're doing round ports, cylinder ports. Right. But on the 210 and 410, we're, we're going to stick with the, the rectangular ports, but they're still flared, right? Yeah, I would, have, uh, I would have loved to have used the circular ports in there, but physically I couldn't get the ports and the speakers in the same box. It's just, it's just too much space. Well, you were telling me one night, you said that if you did the round ports on the 410, it would be as tall as the 610. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that was just for space to put the ports in. That seemed a little ridiculous. Okay, but now... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an analog of those ports, and I'm going to do it in a square format. We're going to flare the end, so we'll get the same kind of performance, but I'll actually be able to fit into the box properly. Okay, but, but the flaring, you're still going to have that reduction of the, uh, the little distortion artifact after the attack of the note. You're still going to have the faster airflow. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll operate very similarly to the round ports. Okay. But, okay. but the advantage is we can put it in the box a whole lot easier in this case. Okay, so everybody's still getting the cool technology, though. Yeah, it's 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 the same animal. It's just packaged up in different different way. Okay. Um, actually, okay. these are using uh, similar similar paper pulp to the last ones we did, which is the best grade, in my view, the best grade we can get. Uh, we added actually some more hemp to it. Oh, more hemp. It it uh, it toughens it up, not a lot more, but a bit more. Okay. It, it's uh, it just toughens it up a little bit more, and it gives a little different character to the sound. Okay. I want okay. something a little different than the older material, a little stouter. I think this is going to fill the bill. Okay. But what I what I tried to do with this was is take the old XLT design and the XST design to get rid of the things that were limitations on those two different designs. Do something kind of in between that had the best of both and got rid of the problems they both had. Okay. And that's the goal. All right. gotcha. Now, um, uh, high-powered voice coils, yeah. right? Yeah, very high-powered. These are much stronger coils than the last systems we were able to get. The technology's really come a long way in the last five or six years. Okay. And that was something that, that we've talked about before, that uh, the, the past designs were great in their day, but they've been around a while, so there's a yeah. lot of new stuff that's happened. Yeah, when I did those, that was the the best technology we get our hands on at the time. But you've got to realize that was 12 years ago. Uh -huh. Some of these designs are 15 years old. Yep. And, you know, they, they needed an update. It was, it was time. Uh, you know, it didn't work out in the situation I was in. Just didn't have time to do that. <laughs> uh, but it's a new day. There you go.